We good? Yeah. We skipped over an episode number. Yeah. Uh, in the thumbnail, yeah. Yeah, that's we, okay. But we uh, the title was okay. Two uh, two. Are we two eleven? Three ten. Three ten. But we skipped three oh nine. Yeah. Last yeah. week we said it was episode three ten, but it was three oh nine. Okay. I posted it as three oh nine. We good? Yes, yeah, sir. You mean you're exactly saying. your reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? <laughs> no, baby! That's a new one told story. A uh, new one told story. It's a fresh bake on told story. my doll i don't know episode uh a new untold story episode 311 310 ah fuck i was about to sing amber oopsie Three, uh 311 310 we're 310 we're we about definitely to be 311. done 310 because i correctly you having deja vu Khan? guessed that it was southern we, california no, the, no we said week. 310 yeah. we, uh-huh. we, so shouts out to peoria uh we skipped 309 and bloomington <laughs> Uh, but we're now it's three ten, and that is Ray Mysterio. Three one out, yeah. Shitty bar. Three ten, oh, three ten Bowery. Bowery. Yeah, I um don't like it, but I went there once, and Gaz was there. I was me, Gaz, and Rudy. So Hot those guys were going to have sex, and he came up to me. <laughs> right, and it was in, it was not with each other. Yeah, but he came up to me. Gaz did a tray of tequila shots. Put it down. He's like. You're not buying anything tonight because I know you're not getting pussy. I was like, thanks. He did, yeah. Thanks, guys. He was Damn. right. <laughs> um, yeah. He was right. He was very right. Yeah. He was, I'm trying to, um, wonder if he was maybe wrong. No, he wasn't. <laughs> we are going to New Orleans tomorrow. So this is early in the week. Uh, I usually write my news jokes Wednesdays. Today is Tuesday. So what we could do is I don't have news today. What? What? Are you serious? <laughs> I, do, I am serious. These All are right, uncomfortable KB as fuck. gets to take it away. No. Hold on. Do you, are yours working? Your headphones? Yes. Let's let's start from the top. No, but are, no, no. I. Yours doesn't work. I, they yours f- don't. Well, that was fucked. Yours don't work. The padding is like fucked up or something. Test test. Just start it over. No, it's right, fine. Anyway. Or, yeah, because we already I was looking at my phone switch. anyway. I can't do this. I want, re- I want to redo the part about the three ten anyway. No, I right, have well, a joke about you not yeah. switch me. I don't like this. Why would they work on me? No, I, they're uncomfortable. I mean, your ears probably don't, I don't make give it. a shit. Yeah. God damn it! Well, look, yours has extra padding, dude. Why? <laughs> You're so fucking stupid. Switch back. <laughs> You're so, 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 so dumb. Fuck, I kind of like that extra pad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you put it back in when I'm done. Um, so I think our podcasts are better edited and uh, and better uh, sounding when we do it earlier in the week. Mm-hmm. I mean, later in the week. Oh, no, earlier in the week. I'm tripping right now. Um, but later in the week, our jokes are better. So I don't, I don't know, but we got to do this. My jokes are really bad today. <clears throat> But let's get into the news. Yeah. Sure. All right. Probably won't. Game Time is an app created by fans for fans. <laughs> Did you guys hear about this? It's a ticketing app that makes buying tickets easier to your favorite concerts. <clears throat> We sold the segment, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is part of it? <laughs> no. It's so easy to use. You get amazing deals. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login. Redeem the code untold. 20%, $20 off. You can go to all kinds of events like uh, drag races. Um, drag queen. Yeah. Uh, Dude, when I do my ads. Banksy I, exhibits. Yeah, when I post my ads. For game time, don't reply like this is a scam. I know it's an inside joke. You are tagging the game time app. It makes the um, it makes game time 
they don't know. Probably pisses it, them. It looks bad in the replies when it's all like this. And everybody scam. said that to you, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. <clears throat> now the real news. Thanks, Game Time. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf, who represents a state with one of the largest African-American to Caucasian prisoner discrepancies, has now broken the record for signing over 2,000 pardons, releasing many inba- inmates. Wow. Freeing African-American prisoners and signing a lot? This dude hates it when black is in the pen. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Good job on Tom Wolf for, uh, Tom, yeah. for getting those guys out of there. Uh, Finnish bishops are disobeying the Vatican by marrying same-sex couples. The Pope said don't. They keep doing it. The Catholic Church made an official statement saying uh, straight people get married, gay people become priests. That's all I have for that. <laughs> My priest was a gay man. He got sent back to the Vatican. Uh, it was a true story. Our the most recent uh, St. Vincent's priest. Which one? Uh, he like a few. Like a few come to mind. Yeah, there's yeah. A, there's a few. Um, Which seems like a bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With bad early reviews of the new Adams Family reboot, director Tim Burton admits that in this stage of his career, he may be trying to be too ambitious, and he worries that his best work is behind him. Being known f- only for big fish and biting off more than you can chew? <laughs> I know a yeah. career Tim can relate to. It is that of Bethany Hamilton. Pro surfer and all-you-can-eat buffet for sea predators like 14-foot <laughs> tiger sharks. <laughs> In college football news, Michigan blew out UConn 59 to nothing. Big blue and husky? Why do those descriptors ring a bell? Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> Adnan Saeed was released from prison. He is known from the popular true crime podcast, uh, Serial, where they looked into the case of the murder of his girlfriend, Hey Min Lee. Mm. A man with a taste for blood appearing on Serial? Is he a murderer or fucking chow- Count Chocula? <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's the one <laughs> um, <laughs> a teenager with cancer was surprised with tickets to, to the green bay chicago game this weekend it was a dream come true because she actually roots for both teams to show her support she wore a packers jersey and a bare head <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, no. <laughs> it's kind of a boring game to go to. It was never close and the stadium wasn't at capacity. So much like her, Lambo should worry about a low cell count. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh <laughs> man charged with assault for shouldering somebody while waiting in line to see Elizabeth II lying in state. That's a bad way to lose a spot in line by checking somebody after they lose their queen. But it's a great way to win in chess. (laughs) (laughs) God damn. damn. Oh, that that would look cool. That That could look look cool. cool. Uh, Kyle, do you have any, my friend? What do you got for me, KB? Okay. Slow news week. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood actor Ben Affleck was pictured out in L.A. this week enjoying a cigarette and an iced coffee after dropping his youngest child, Samuel, off at school where he is one of the top students. Mm. In fact, Samuel Affleck, just 10 years of age, was already offered a scholarship to Penn State University after administration found out his father enjoys Morning Joe and was caught with a little butt in his hands. <laughs> um, <laughs> yep, I remember reading that. Yeah. The Lower Colorado River Authority is urging stubborn pet owners to keep their dogs out of Lake Travis after toxic algae was found in 10 different spots last week, which has resulted in several local dogs becoming sick. The exact source of the toxic algae in Lake Travis 
Start that one from the top. Very top? Tippy. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't like that. I'm taking my zen out. Did you put it in your pocket? Yeah. Where else? <laughs> For now. <laughs> The Lower Colorado River Authority is urging stubborn pet owners to keep their dogs out of Lake Travis. Because of the toxic algae, after right? After toxic yeah. algae was found in 10 different spots last week, which has resulted in several local dogs becoming sick. Mm. The exact source of the toxic algae in Lake Travis that's causing so many of these poor pups to yelp in pain and come down with a variety of illnesses is still up in the air. Mm -hmm. What's not up in the air, however, are the Travis Barkers who undeniably came down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. So did you, if we could break character here. Yeah. Did you just like, I'm going to make a Travis Barker joke and then reverse. Yeah, I was going to do, uh, there was like a dog show. I was going to do tra like Barker's runway. And I was like, what? Lake Travis, wonder if something happened with dogs and coincidentally, yeah. There's that, yeah. yeah they're dying and The shit. thing about doing the segment is I've learned so fucking much. Yeah. I read just news yeah. all the time. Yeah. I am just consuming news. Anyways. Speaking uh, of. <laughs> in college football, hmm. I think my favorite matchup of the week, maybe the best one, is number 10 Arkansas taking on number 23 Texas A&M at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Yeah. Arkansas coach Sam Pittman is confident in the matchup and claimed he has no problem going to Texas for the quote-unquote neutral game and boldly exclaimed he would actually prefer for the 10th-ranked Razorbacks to travel to A&M's campus to play them at Kyle Field, citing that 10s historically have no trouble coming to Kyle. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, do you feel like that joke could have been a lot shorter <laughs> <laughs> like significantly yeah, well, shorter first part was actually word for word so i had to <laughs> he didn't actually say that about no no that. i get i get that yeah 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 It'd be crazy <laughs> Patton Oswalt takes on mega clowns. And, it, and <laughs> <laughs> this is the title. Patton Oswalt takes on mega clowns and his own woke self in new Netflix special titled We All Scream, which uniquely highlighted the 53-year-old 53, 53 comedian exposing his vulnerabilities and expressing his difficulties with being trapped in his home during the COVID pandemic without the accessible platform of the stand-up stage to expel his dark thoughts. In an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Oswald stated that after the sudden death of his wife, Michelle McNamara, mm -hmm. in the spring of 2016, he was forced to look inward, in which Kimmel replied, me too. I was also forced to look inward. <laughs> Is that a blackface joke? A Kimmel blackface joke? Yeah. <laughs> he forced him to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kanye West admits Kim Kardashian raises their kids 80% of the time, but he still gives her advice. Wow, what a consolation. Kardashian claimed that she was originally excited to raise kids on her own for the first time, although the stress of it is finally starting to get to her head. Hmm, I think Ray's kids has gotten to Kim Kardashian's head in the past when she begged him, begged him to come on her face. Um, this one isn't finished, so I'll try to do it. Let's try to finish it right now on the fly, man. Uh, another college football matchup, number five, Clemson is taking on number 21, Wake Forest. Mm. Two incredible teams, but two of the ACC's worst offensive lines. I disagree. I think ACC's worst line was at the Florence, Kentucky location when the chain offered $2 buffets and <laughs> it took 45 minutes to get to finally get to the front of oh a cc's <laughs> like the pizza buffet yeah, <laughs> yeah that's ready to go uh, yeah, i think that's yeah. i think you can just Leave stamp that, that. In, yeah. seal it Leave is that, that what you're ending on yeah can you mouth mine yes <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> 
So you could just lip slop and down her, however. Just days into 1999, Hey Min Lee, a Southern Maryland high schooler, was killed. Initially, her ex-boyfriend, Adnan Syed, was arrested, convicted of murder, and sentenced to life in prison plus 30 years. Today, 23 years later, thanks to Serial's coverage of, of the true crime, Adnan Syed walked out of prison a free man, proving yet again you don't need an alibi for felonies committed early in January in the greater D.C. metro area as long as you have a podcast climbing the Spotify charts in the name of, quote-unquote, freedom. <laughs> there it is. I, did, I was too busy trying to match the lips. It was like a, a, a storming the Capitol kind of oh, joke. Yeah. yeah, I already I, have the Rogan in the Capitol meme, so I'm just going to throw that these out. These are getting pretty tough, and I think it's almost time to shift from Bethany Hamilton as well. To? I'll tell you who we're not shifting to. Hold on, though. Let's get back into formation. <laughs> Yeah, so we're running out of Bethany Hamilton. I like, I've used every, we've used every term for arm. There's no more misdirections possible. And I don't know who we can go to next. I know one person we can't go to. It's Venus Williams. My new. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You were trying to get so into tennis and I was just like, all right. Well, no, let me the dabble. worst part is that I did get so into tennis. Yeah. And so I decided, I, I decided to put in effort for like five, what, seven minutes. I DM Nick Kyrgios, not even asking him to come on any of our shows to, to go on PMT because I think he'd be a good fit. So I was, did that. Yeah. So no, you and really was, tried to get into tennis and I just. I went to a match. Yeah. Couple, right? Or you were there for like, yeah, till like 2 a.m. Yes. And watching it and following the ITF tour, random tournaments in I, Serbia and shit. And, uh. I got Venus Williams to follow me on Instagram, yeah. so we're both crushing. <laughs> I figured we could use this. Um, so she followed me. I waited a little bit, followed her back. Um, she did it first. and So you did an ad for like a swipe up for Barstool's Instagram account. The, so for the past year, I don't yeah. like doing any of the Viva La Stool stuff where they come up and they're like, who would, who's, yeah. would you want to share a... Bowl of spaghetti with, yeah, and uh, <laughs> so I daughter just daughter or DJ song, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I always just try to circle it back to Venus Williams. I've been doing mm -hmm. it for like mm -hmm. a year, and it was yeah. just like, oh, like what's the perfect date movie? And I was like, uh, King Richard. And they're like, what actress would you want to most likely go on a date with? And I'm like, uh, the girl from King Richard when she's grown. And then uh, it just, I finally like they asked me where I spend too much money. And I just Googled if Venus Williams had a website and she sells tennis apparel, which is smart. As she should. I think her and it's fucking sister's trying to fly. do like venture capitalism. Yeah. 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 You and don't, you um, don't know what you're doing. I was just like, I always shop it. I'm a, I'm a man. I looked like a fucking slob in that video. I was wearing sweats. My hair was filthy. My face looked long for some reason. Um, and I said 11, her brand with a capital V. And she loved it. Followed me back. She's sending me a package of, of, of 11 gear, which Jeez. is tennis skirts and, and bras. <laughs> and, that, and then right, she's like, right, use so, promo code bars. So, so you did that swipe up. And then how did she respond initially with her own Instagram story? She posted that, reposted that. And she's like, guy number two with Which hard eyes. You, oh my God. Oh no, to her one eyes? With her 1.8 million followers. And so I was never expected this to happen and I didn't know what to do and I still don't, but she followed me on Instagram. Yeah. You got to be strategic. I, I want to use today to workshop my first message to her to yeah. start the correspondence. Okay. The end goal being to have her here as on the show mm -hmm. as my wife. <laughs> I hate the fact that that's semi-realistic. <laughs> it kind of is. She no, she's like forty-two. Well, that's so. It's uh, so. It's oh, you're the one who will be doing the denying. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're the one who has qualms. Oh man, the shit! I this guess is you're right. Insane. 
Um, yeah. But I was thinking we could all pull yeah. our heads together. Um, what was her exact response with the guy number two? And she said something about Barstool. She used promo website. code Barstool to get free shipping from 11 merch. Um, but if you go to her following, she has 1.8 million followers. She's following 600. It's uh, Lori Harvey, Bella Hadid. Oh, Megan oh, Trainer. She's only like a sub one thousand follower. Uh huh. That's all. Abby bad. Wambach, uh, uh, Rob Gronkowski, uh, Vanessa Hudgens, Nick Terrani, Tom Brady. <laughs> 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 this is on what? What on Instagram? And on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's just like me and the guys. Um, <laughs> Steph Curry, um, Clay, myself. Um, you know, Let's see. John Legend. What did you think of the um, pump? Oh, she follows six six six. Yes, you were this. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh no. Uh huh. That's hot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Bella Hadid. Yeah, you're compared to Be Bella Hadid. Like you're up there with Bella Hadid. If you click on her following, I also got un like unintentionally compared to Bella Hadid. How? There was a viral tweet that was like, guys who wear tank tops without tats just look like Bella Hadid. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in the process of walking to the gym home in a tank top. Oh no! Um, well, you're at the gym at least. Kendall Jenner. Well, you need to get tats then. Yeah. So it's just like, and Abby fucking Wombach, <laughs> Bobby he, Flay. Oh, uh, there, there's like some random outdoors guys too. Rebel like Wilson, name, Easy Money Sniper. Easy that, Money Sniper. Is that a war hero? That's Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> yep it is doesn't have his name on there uh-uh mm -hmm. uh-uh yeah um all right so that's an accomplishment i don't are you content with that no i'm going to message her right now so you gotta lie you gotta be like okay um hey the guys at barstool love your website we want to do more we want to work with you more no 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 i want the i want I to be as casual as possible I'm just looking for the guaranteed response first and then get into the cast. Well, see, the thing is, she already follows me. If I send something trying to be friendly and she unfollows me, that's funny, too. That would be funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I'm really nervous. I don't know what to do. Okay, give me some help. I mean, the, the coolest move, but the biggest risk would just to be like a, a very casual yo. And if you got a response to just yo, then you're in. Do you think I should just do yo? Send her a pumpkin. You're like, oh, so yeah, like oh, imagine man. like if she responded to yo, that'd be awesome. Do you think just yo? That's a, that's a try. It? That's a cocky move. Because yo, you can follow up with more and be like, oh, I accidentally just one o. Yeah. Oh, as opposed to what? Yeah. Two. Ew. No, 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 no. Ew. No, 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 no. Uh, one, one o, and then if you overthink it, just send another follow. This is up. big. Like, what if I say yo yo ma and I send a little cello emoji? Well, it's like when Owen texts says yo, and but I'm calling her like ma in the sense like, that she's like a a thick black woman. <laughs> <laughs> do the, yo yo ma? Okay, please do. Yeah, you have to do the yo yo ma now because it'd be funny if she didn't respond and you had to like backtrack, <laughs> work, your, work your way out of the yo yo ma cello emoji mess. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I'm actually really nervous. If she responds to yo yo ma cello emoji, then it's 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 downhill from here. <laughs> but if she doesn't, still funny, you can work your way out of it. I've seen you work your way out of harder things. Should I send yo yo ma? What the, is there a cello emoji? I don't know. What, and it'd be, what if she got the joke and, and loved it? <laughs> she probably does. I think they were like, they did like piano and classically trained. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Are you looking her up right now? Yeah, just some. Give me, yeah. Some little things. Ah, shit. Should it be Yo-Yo Ma? Yo-Yo Kama Ma? It has to be. And thank God there's like a two day like window before it gets posted because like the the people are going to blow her up. With Yo-Yo Ma? Yeah. Or, with, or just anything. All right, I'm doing it. Yo-Yo. But that might work as well if, it, if you got a lot of. Just that? Is there a, the emoji? <laughs> if anything, like a musical note cello yes oh, perfect <laughs> oh dude i'm kind of nervous that is the worst dm oh. ever but you have to oh i'm kind of nervous ah. oh, oh my, my god. god let's see <laughs> yo yo ma oh. Oh. oh let's see wait wait does she have any does oh yeah is there anything better we, everything is better, but you have to, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to do that one. Um, Here, it's send. 
Can I show like for proof? Yeah. Here, hold on. I'll just, I want to do it. At least I have some role. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. I just sent right. Venus Williams. Yo, yo, ma <laughs> cello emoji. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Oh my God. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm okay. freaking out. Okay. All right. All right. This is good. You didn't send it, right? It's sent. Don't don't unsend. That look that's a worse. It works. She'll see. No, that I think it's gonna work. Oh shit. I send it in two days. Oh, that, she doesn't see it. And then they I'll... separate followers, like your the yeah, people you yeah, follow. So yeah. that she'll uh, she'll one hundred percent see it. Yeah. And she's active on Instagram. She goes Very. live all the time. Yes. We, yeah, so we, this whole Venus thing has started like whenever she would go live on Instagram, we pl we try to get Venus, which is mm. you comment, you ask her questions, and see if she'll answer it on live. She's very mm. active. I was like deep into her Wikipedia trying to like like provoke a response and something like very yeah near and dear to her heart didn't work. Right. I think like three years ago we were like, who's the most like ridiculous person to for Nick to that we pretend that Nick has fucked. Catherine Heigl. Catherine Heigl. The real answer is is Venus Williams. Without a it's, doubt. That but that the, would have been so... That is the funniest... The fact that... perfect celebrity for you to be... At, it's hilarious be because uh, I we have to have nothing in common. Uh, she's, very, she's very famous, I think, I would, especially yeah, I would in the tennis the, community. I would give her the very adjective, yeah. Yeah. Just, I think regardless, she's very well... Like, everyone knows Venus Williams. Yeah. And, uh, she, yeah, I just sent her Yo-Yo Ma. Cello emoji. <laughs> oh, man. That, that was necessary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Unless um, she doesn't know who Yo-Yo Ma is, that just makes it look worse. <laughs> if you look at my message DMs, it's, uh, I was tagged in a Barstool Chicks, Mother's Knows Best tagged me in a reel, and then uh, Venus Williams sent just now. Mm -hmm. There's There we go. Anything for... Uh, Let's uh, see. Let's see what. Let's see. I mean, she might respond soon. Who yeah. knows? It has to be pretty quick. I mean, what else has she been doing? She's in Phoenix right now. It doesn't say seen yet. Um, another strange thing has been kind of happening to me. I uh, have a new doorman at my apartment. He's an old man. I, he's racially ambiguous, but for sure not from here. Um, mm -hmm. And I was walking out one morning. It was Sunday. I was like, hey, I'm grabbing a coffee. Do you want one? He said, yeah, brought him back a coffee, super touched. So then I uh, was out this weekend, came back a little drunk and he was working. It was like probably midnight, 1230. Mm -hmm. And he grabs my forearm. He's like, oh, fuck, that's my <laughs> bleep that. Yep. He said my apartment, he called me by my apartment number, grabbed me by my forearm. He said, you have to come with me. I was like, what? He's like, follow me. And he, he took me uh, back to where like the storage is on the first floor where he keeps like his stuff goes into his backpack, pulls out a bag. And he's like, I need you to share a fig with me. And so he, we, me and him went outside at like 1230 at night. What? And he, he, we were, he gave me a fucking. From like from uh, Newton the, fame? No, yes. Oh, I didn't even know. It. And he just, uh, we were eating figs together. What? And I don't know if that's like some sort of cultural thing. Are we bound now? Yeah. What the, you're, that's, that's essentially a date. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah that's super weird isn't that weird uh, yeah and so now every time i come back into my apartment and he's working oh. there's more stuff for me to try he grabbed my forearm Would th what provoked this you probably have I offered him, him back, gifts of I brought, no i brought him past. back coffee oh okay, the coffee fit, fit what um is that yeah is that a cultural thing? i don't know but then he grabbed me look gross and he gave me these three pastries last night that's better than a fig and he says you gotta have these with coffee He's right. That's a good, that, yeah. But it all started with the fig and he and I were both, I was drunk mm -hmm. eating them in front of my building, just like eating ba naked figs with this man. Huh. Yeah. And I don't, I need to get to the bottom of it. I want to yeah. learn about it. I don't know if I'm like, uh, I, see, I would have been, I would have questioned it immediately. Why? Oh, I would, I would have said, why they were are, so right why are you offering me this fig? <laughs> why do you want to enjoy this fig with me outside of this? Building? But he said, I, he didn't really give me a choice. He said, Nick's apartment number, you must enjoy this fig with me. Yeah. Yeah. And he yeah. said it, looked me in the eyes. He was grabbing my forearm. 
My apartment's weird. Given the Fig's prominent role in the generation of humanity as we know it, it's no surprise that Fig's are often associated with sex and fertility. Really? Dating back to oh, ancient no. Greece. Really? Mm. In what way? Figs aren't sexy. Figs are sexy, dude. Look how pink it was. <laughs> I think the fig is basically like a clone that of our like That looks it's, like a, a bloody organ. We're built the same. It looks what like a testicle. Yeah. yeah, but it didn't taste good at all. And they were pretty hard, very seedy. It was almost like a bigger pomegranate uh, spore kind of thing. Right. Um, but I shared one with him. And he just had them in a Ziploc bag. Oh, that's kind of wholesome. It's probably the best he had to offer. You think? That's how they used to. That was. That's like how friends were made. Someone gives you something, then they give you what they have. It I guess you're to right. Be a fig. Yeah, it did ha happen to be a fig. But no, it was pretty. I was pretty touched. I think, unless I have to, like, marry this guy's daughter. Hmm. Already spoken for. Fuck. You got a. You have a Venus. <laughs> I have a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I don't, but if I did, you, just, yeah, fuck. you just said it. Um, okay, she hasn't it's seen it yet. I'm fucking nervous. Is the green dot there? What's the green dot that she's online? Yeah. No. No, you can take that off. Oh, you can. I you think. Can, yeah, I think you can. Shit. Fuck. All right, we'll see where that goes. But uh, in the meantime, guys, our favorite company is back on board. There's a little speed bump. <laughs> Hello Fresh, guys. It was, a, it was a tiny speed bump, but my Hello Fresh went flying once I hit it. You know, it it's the, the summer corn chowder spilled all over the street. Yeah. But no. we got them back. No, and the thing is, don't Google them. But uh we love we love Hello Fresh here on this podcast. It's mm -hmm. safe, it's easy, it's delicious. It'll have you feeling really good. And um what's coming up for the fall? Uh, squash, butternut Butter squash, butternut squash, and yeah. uh, a lot of uh, 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 chowders Pumpkin and filled empanadas, empanadas, the works, the whole nine, the whole nine. Go to hellofresh.com slash story six five. Mm -hmm. uh, use code story six five for sixty five percent off yeah. plus free shipping. Wow, I wonder why it's a better deal now. Uh, uh, repeat all. Oh, uh, hellofresh.com slash story six five. We love them there. Uh, and maybe maybe one day if we get enough. Uh, promo codes used we'll do our own little like we'll power rank our favorite hello fresh meals oh i would love like to a, do that a, a tier draft. list of our yeah, a, a draft list. of our hello fresh meals um all right so i brought to the table one of the most famous athletes of all time and a real zany story about my doorman kyle what do you got um let's see I had Marion Berry cheesecake last night. <laughs> uh, you're wearing a Temple Lacrosse shirt. Oh, yeah. Shirt. Shout out to Zach Lawrence. He's a huge fan and supporter of our show and the uh, Yak. Other bar mm -hmm. stores. So He's a, you weren't here when we got those sent to us. I opened it because mm -hmm. I wanted one and I took one of the shirts. for everyone on the Yak. Right. I took yeah. one, but I took the letter to you as well. And I didn't tell you this, but it was handwritten, oh, yeah. very sweet. But it said, thank you for the very generous donation. Yeah. I what did you give them? I donated to the... The Temple Lacrosse team. How much? He's, Kyle, he, you he, don't have the money to give. He's been supporting. <laughs> he's always sent. He right, a but lot we have nice a free messages. program. He, we, we, he we, buys our merch. He buys Yak merch, Anus merch. Um, I, he said a very generous donation. I mean, very. <laughs> what the, dude, yeah. you don't you uh -huh. don't have the funds to no, to support yeah. a temple. Um, yeah, and I said that's the. I told. I still told him that's the least I can do because all that you've done for me. After the the donation, do you think you gave back more money than he spent on barstool stuff? No, he's he's constantly buying. Okay, yeah, yeah. But is it close? How generous is very generous? Um, what's like? Give me like a, a small college. Temple. <laughs> no, like a like a little like uh, Alderson Broadus. Alderson Broadus, like their endowment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. speaking of donating though I want to if somebody wants to reach out to us I really want us to uh, sponsor like an a intramural team uh, and I want us to be the Maresh awesome. Mareshes so the front and back yeah um, those fucking Velo dickheads think they run the shit what's Velo it's like this New York intramural sports club oh. they always pack into three sheets saloon hog the fucking pong table <laughs> so 
you you've been bringing around your own pong ball for the three. Yeah, they have the saloon. worst pong tape. They had the worst. Who are you going they with? Have the worst. Pong have you gone balls. with them, Owen? Uh, no. Are you playing pong? Are you going to play pickup pong? <laughs> well, originally, I, <laughs> yes. Long story short, long and it's embarrassing because well, I went with a girl originally. Okay, my, my female friend. Sure, and it's it's a blast. We would play um, one on one. Yeah. No, oh. no, one on one, and it, it would always like there would always be like some fucking dorks that would want to play. Yeah, they would and just, ask them for the rules, elbow. Yeah, and there's there's one couple. Redemption. They were clearly on their like first Tinder date, and he kept calling elbow on her. And just, oh and no! It was so awkward. That it wasn't so. And we weren't. We were just like fine. Like I bet you he was really a hot guy though. Um, a guy for a guy to call elbow on a girl on the first date, he has to have just assume pussy. They were a hot. They were a hot couple. Yeah. Um, and it was. I just wanted the game to be over. I wanted to lose so bad. Because, like, if he was calling elbow, that, that clearly he wants to means win something very to him. I just yeah. wanted the game to be over. Um, and we, we we won, and it was so awkward. He called elbow three times. Three times three, elbow? Three elbows. Yeah, but then I was like, oh, I have the itch to play more, but I don't have any partner. So now like, I have to get drunk enough to be comfortable to play alone. So do you go to a shoot-around and try to impress? So I went, and uh, no, I hope to get picked up? So I'll walk in, and if it's, like, if it's too crowded, I'll... I'll leave, which is awkward because there's a bouncer that takes your ID and the pong tables are in the corner. So I have to go to the corner, then immediately leave if people were going to be watching. <laughs> but when I when it's like a slow night or day, like a Wednesday, I'll go in, set up the cops and just who like gets into beer pong at 30 shoot on my own. And it's not like the drinking game. I'm not like drinking right. when I make it one or miss or like don't make one. You're just dying to compete. Yeah, it's All right, fun. I like accuracy based games. OK. Yeah, it's fair. I just mm. think it's a, it's a funny idea of you just like going to an open gym to play pong alone. Yeah, it's pathetic. <laughs> mm. Oh man, god damn! That I will tell you, uh, I made the leap from Delta Eight to Delta Nine. Big job. It, it helps. It puts me to sleep. Like I've been falling asleep at nine, ten, and sleeping like eight hours. Yeah, but are you hours. getting too high? Um. Well, I don't know because I usually just immediately fall asleep. Are you still vibrating? D9. No, I'm off of that shit. I had a panic attack in Anchorage. I did mm -hmm. a, a worm and then <laughs> oh, I was like, this is. Did, did I tell you? Yeah, he said <laughs> this he was, is. He was having a meltdown and he said he texted our rediscovering group never again with all of the gummy worms in the toilet. <laughs> he, he flushed them like it's hard uh, drugs. Being a drama king. But <laughs> yeah. the worst part is that was necessary because if I threw them just away in the trash, I would have dug them up the next day. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah. it's, it's so jarring to be vibratingly high and then seeing Fasoli's black giant uncle. That that was that was. Uh, no, I mean, I wasn't, it was, I was, that yeah, I was confused. I was, yeah, I was yeah. confused. Yeah, yeah, I Are wasn't we upset. still on this planet? I wasn't upset by any means. I mean, you walk into a kitchen, you think it's going to be coworkers, and you see Fasoli's yeah. Babu? <laughs> His right. black, his, uh, his, his black uh, Donnie, Alaskan yeah. big uncle. Donnie made, we talked about this already. Donnie yeah. made a bunch of tacos and food and Fasoli made the fucking street corn, which was phenomenal. It was the best street corn I've ever had. Better than authentic Mexican. It was perfect. He made it. And then his, <laughs> he flexes on us with that and his black uncle who played in the NFL is chilling, only laughing at Fasoli's jokes. Uh -huh. um, uh, yeah. So you had to go have a yeah, worm. But the, but the leap from Delta 8 to Delta 9, I'm doing like regulated 3Chi, which is our yeah, our sponsor guys. here. Yeah. Sponsors here. Is, is a, is a, is a, what a leap that is. So why didn't you just start doing more Delta 8? You just wanted to, I didn't know Delta, I didn't know the tech the, was there. The, yeah, the tech is there and it's crazy. And now I get, I get sweet tooths every time I'm on it, which I, sweet teeth, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. That one's iffy. It's like hanged. Hung. <laughs> um, yeah, hanged is just hanged is it's like pictures hung by the neck. Hung people it, are hanged. Hanged uh, people were hung people penally. Are hung, people were hanged to break the law. Yeah. Um Fuck, Mrs. Clary's gonna be pissed at me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's lie lie and lie lay lie. Uh whatever. Yeah. Um not that kind of podcast. <laughs> we can't no, no, we're just as boring. Yeah. Um is that so you yeah, that's what you did? Uh, yeah, it's just it, Oh my god! I could taste the Mary and Berry cheesecake. <laughs> it's so it, it like not just with my mouth, my whole body was like my ankle was like enjoying it. <laughs> not this is not like a stupid like oh, I, this is stupid. 
You said your ankle was enjoying the, the cheesecake. I'm 30 and getting into pong and munchies when high for the first time. But yeah, I missed out. I missed the boat. I'm yeah. Up for lost time. Dude, I would love to like delve into being a weed guy. I've never. Can't do it. I just want to have like a tray so line around my place. Yeah. I like just started this year. I used to be so bad with it. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. I would love. Yeah. And then when I'm with weed guys and I like do smoke, I'm pretending mm -hmm. and they know. <laughs> It's like, let's see the, let's see you exhale. And I pretend yeah. like I'm holding it longer and I just. <laughs> yeah. Tyler watches so closely. Oh yeah. Yeah. A, an experienced Potsman. Mm -hmm. Tyler. Mr. Potts. You married to the fucking fat teapot from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> you have a child named Chip over there. Mr. Potts. <laughs> Boy, this show sucks. Uh-uh. <laughs> Kyle, go grab that Snapple. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad people... Uh, that, did you see the subreddit? No, that hit. That resonated with a lot of people. Somebody, uh, it some, moved the needle. Do you see somebody, Serena Williams, only found me because she meant to search for Rick, for rackets online and then type, mistyped it? <laughs> oh, no. oh, no oh, shit. I wonder... Yeah. Um, oh, the guy who's doing those crazy like mash compilation videos. Oh, of us. Oh my god. He's, he's very good, but yeah. unshareable. Unshareable. Mm -hmm. Keep doing them. Yeah. Make them worse. But keep we'll never it, ever be able to share. Them. Yeah, I guess this is the extent. If you like, maybe oh, like omitted some of the things you could play, but you you have some some <laughs> some material that we cannot. Show. <laughs> uh, what was the most recent one? Uh, were, we bombing, were we bombing? Were we bombing Hiroshima? There's yeah, Hiroshima. Yeah. How do you say that? I don't know. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I yeah, they had. Thought. I think they had us. Um, Kyle, you have a stuffed animal. That's one way to describe a, a doll of me. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's an animal. Uh, it makes animalistic like sounds. An American girl doll. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. That'll be hitting uh, shelves. The KB be, doll. Yeah, I'm very excited about that launch. KB toys, I guess, is something we could have called. I it, didn't but know they uh, included me singing like the fray in it. That was embarrassing. What song? Uh, fucking cable cars. I didn't know. The, I don't know how they got that in there. Is it? Is it? like my. Is it a voice actor? I don't know how they got the the audio. So you squeeze it and it goes yow. It goes yeah. if that ass fat. Yeah. It goes um um what else? Uh, I didn't. Sh I'm a blue raspberry. Guy oh yeah. And fuck no baby. And then the me just singing I for never a while. Knew. Yeah. How do they get that? I don't know. And it, it's so it, it was like because all thing. the other ones are your voice. I wanted to promote it so bad, but like not like not if that's included. So I had every like, squeeze, yeah. yeah, you just hope it's not. Mm -hmm. Actually, that should be a new drinking game for uh, people that buy the KB toy. Uh, you pass around. It's like Russian roulette. And if you get cable car, you have to you have to do a shot of kratom. No, fuck that. I, we we got to get the like a, a new one without that on there. Why? Because it's it has me. Is fucking, it the full it's length? So stupid. It has me being like. So embarrassingly being like, let's rearrange. <laughs> I wish you were a stranger. Why do you sound like Halsey? What? <laughs> you just sounded like Halsey. I know. You sound like Halsey when you sang. <laughs> you fuck like Do that. it again. Let's, let's rearrange. <laughs> I wish you were a stranger. I could disengage. <laughs> say that we agree and then never change. <laughs> Soften a bit until we all just get along. <laughs> Let's disregard. <laughs> I find another friend. Keep going. I'm going to do an ad. Discard. We'll do up. up. Say the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they had that shit in there. Dude, that shit was sus, oh sus as hell. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck they got the that, fuck? dude. Yeah. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, today's episode is brought to you by SoCo. Southern Comfort. Big pumped. Big pumped. We're actually going to be in a commercial for SoCo. Oh, wow. And uh, uh, it's going to be with uh, uh, the Son of a Boy Dad podcast. And we're all in regular attire, except for you, yeah. Kyle. You mm -hmm. have a prosthetic for it. Yes. Um, yeah. And it is. <laughs> yeah. I was, Everybody I, looks I, really I, cool. I, I got the whole script for it. It's a big budget. Like, thing. Huge we're gonna, budget. We're going to like, rent out like a party mansion to film it. And like, then they're all. And then, then, then like everyone's like. 
we can't spoil just, it too far, but you. Everyone's role is like a normal drinker. Very Someone, cool guy. The average person who enjoys Southern <laughs> comfort, and I have to play. No, nope, don't even say it. But yeah, Kyle I'll has see. a full body prosthetic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get and, uh But anyway, whether you're tailgating, relaxing after midterms, uh, Soco is ready for anything. It's the best whiskey money can buy. Try Soco shot today. It's easy to make. Uh, it's one third Soco plus uh, two thirds sour. Done. Uh, click the link in the description on the pod uh, to see more cool stuff from Soco. Thank you guys uh, for 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 helping us. Uh, yeah, dude, the it wait, I, there is a we could blur it, but I want to see Owen and Tyler's reaction to your mock up of what you will be in this. Do you have wait, it? I don't have it. I didn't even I didn't see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's so, so bad. Oh, well, no, because he just sent it to me. He was These like, are sick. Uh, like- the director sent it to me would be said, would Kyle be cool with this? I said, yeah. So, we'll blur it. Sass? Yeah. This is the call sheet for it on the bottom of it. Roan, myself. (laughs) (laughs) These are fucking, these, I look forward to these because these are the only piece of content. That's gonna be incredible. Like that these, has, these you, commercials are the only piece of content that like girls will enjoy. You have to. Those, yeah. Yeah. These are pre rolls. In there, like they're the. It's cool to be. You looked hot in the Revitalite one. Yeah, and I've been growing out my torso and arms all summer, <laughs> and I could have done a shirtless role as a party. It's the only time the opposite sex sees you, and yeah, like good lighting, <laughs> production <laughs> value. Oh my god! That's rock. That I knew. <laughs> I, okay, oh, I'll, I'll say over. they told me I would be bald, and <laughs> I'd be like, "Yeah, whatever." And they'll get me the prosthetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, just show it. No, because, uh, no, we can't. Uh, we'll get in trouble. Um, yeah, we'll blur that. But um, yeah, dude. So it's like, <laughs> why? Well, it's like and yeah. Ky- these guys will be normal party animals, and Kyle will be this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And even I read the whole script. It doesn't contextually in context doesn't make sense. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. God dang it. Huh? Why does it feel- uh, next week? I think we're trying to film it. But yeah, it's it's very high budget. Kyle, your your look will be movie quality. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to have to get there at like 5 a.m. It's going to, they're going to have like a time lapse, but you're going to have to get there so early. It's probably going to take like seven on. hours. From what I saw, yeah, that will, t- that'll <laughs> take a, a whole shift for a makeup artist. <laughs> and they're going to have to do yeah. that thing where like they case your face with like the two straws and that's the only way you could breathe for yeah. like three hours. <laughs> I think I'll have like four different people like, yeah, circ- dude. like doing shit. And they'll probably be making do- overtime, but you're just going to, you're going to, and then I'm going to oh. roll up and they're just going to be like, here's your cool suit. How much like, do you think you're going you to weigh on the scale? You're going to get on. probably 80 pounds more. I don't know. Yes. And then if that takes more. multiple days, I'm thinking and about you're already this. run hot. Every time I have gotten makeup for like one of these things, like twice, like the I've completely flubbed like the conversation with the makeup artist. <laughs> I don't have anything in common with makeup artists. This is going to be like an eight hour Other job. than the fact that I do have to use makeup. Right. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new talking point, but that's going to be three hours of longer long i'm gonna pretend to fall asleep <laughs> i've done that before to get out of conversations <laughs> where i remember i was like my neighbors the tailors would always have like parties with like a bunch of girls and guys sometimes we'd hang out on their veranda okay would you and, pretend to get too drunk and, and fall sometimes asleep? some people would be go to the pool next thing you know it's just me and like another girl and i'm like I'm going to pretend to fall asleep <laughs> so I don't have to talk to her. Dude, yeah, but like I'm getting a free suit out of this and they like are they're asking me for like my measurements. They're making me a suit Um, because I'm playing like a really cool penthouse owning guy. Fuck this. Two more planes collided yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to fl- we had to fly to New Orleans tomorrow. It happens. This is twice now that it's uh-huh. happened the day before I fly. We got to fly into hurricane territory tomorrow. Yeah. I'm, oh, God damn it. Is it hurricane season right now? Um, when was Katrina? October? Yeah. A typhoon just hit Japan. I learned that. I was trying to write a joke about it. Couldn't do it. I was trying to make it into a chitty bang Japanese joke. Japanese are hard to roast. Yeah. 
wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, right. They're, they're tough. They're, they're just they're put together. They're the most sh- straight as an arrow. Yeah, they're put together. Just, yeah. Uh, I think you're trying to work a joke. In no, something. I'm not. They're just, yeah. Um, yeah. What else do we got, boys? Hold on one second. All right. Uh, sorry, I had to take a pee break. Uh, let's get. Let's talk about Ridge Wallet. I know we just talked about SoCo as one of our sponsors. Uh, Ridge Wallet. It's a slim, minimalist wallet. Uh, yeah. You can't. Yeah, I can't say yeah, enough. It's like you don't want to. F- that, yeah. The weight and the feeling of a full <laughs> wallet in your left or right pocket. It, especially if you're wearing like tighter fitting pants yeah is the worst it sucks and then you can't i right now i have this i'm waiting for my second ridge wallet to come in yeah this stupid thing yeah which you can't rely on the, car, f- the cards will come right out so here's the thing ridge wallet came to us they were like hey boys you want to do this thing i was like well, I, I carry around 12 cards they're like that's perfect it holds up to 12 cards mm-hmm. plus room for cash there's 30 colors and styles i got the uh i only carry four cards yeah but it don't worry it 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 fits. Keeps to, them snug. Yeah, keep, still keeps keep, them they snug. won't fall out. It's not, uh, it's not loose. Go to RidgeWallet.com. Use code UNTOLD for 10% off your order. For every dollar spent on the website before September 30th, you'll be entered to win a brand new upgraded Ford Bronco. Wow. And you and you can put whatever in the Ridge Wallet. You don't have to put money in there. Mm-hmm. If you don't have money, you can you can still use and get them by the Ridge Wallet. Yeah. You can use whatever. So yeah. It's more right. of a fashion accessory. We, and if you see me, ask to check out the one I have. It's Burnt Titanium. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, one more thing. I did some research on Venus just to make sure. I, I hate to go back to this, but you do you have anything more interesting? Then, I mean, I understand you had a new ice cream flavor last night, but I, but I got yeah. followed by a very famous and did person. And did she reply to Yo-Yo Ma cello emoji yet? Because she's on Instagram around the clock. She has no priorities, no job. No, it was sent. No, yeah, but it was sent, okay. but it was not seen. But no, she could see the whole message in the preview. No, there could be more. You could, yeah, you're right. You yeah. could see the whole message okay. in the preview. Well, yeah. That's, That's not great. Mm-hmm. Um, but I looked up her previous boyfriends because she's a single woman. Um, I think her last boyfriend oh. was a Cuban model, but his last name, a Cuban model, tough to Cuban compete against. Um, but his last name was Piss. Oh. So that's... She she probably she probably loved him, but she couldn't be Venus Piss. Be Venus Piss. Venus Williams hyphen Piss. That's even worse. <laughs> Venus Williams Piss. Is that real? That I think his sound, last name was Piss. That doesn't sound Cuban. Let's... Piss? Piss? <laughs> well, what's Venus lot? Williams was dating uh, Mr. Piss? <laughs> yeah, she... Well, they, she... I think she broke up with Mr. Piss. Hold on. I'm searching Venus Williams piss. I can just hit the back button. Um, Elio piss. <laughs> yeah. Elio piss. He kind of looks like a chunky you. What? The, yeah. Elio oh. piss. Shit. Yeah. But she. Uh, yeah. They broke up. I wonder how. Was he? F- Let's look. At, I'm going to Google model? Venus Williams dating history. That will help her sister. You know, Reddit guy. Married right. the, and married he looks the Reddit like guy. The Reddit guy. Okay, Venus William dating history. A past look into her relationships. So Nicholas Hammond, twelve years younger than her. So she's forty two. Oh no! I, oh. <laughs> twelve years younger. Yeah, they attended Serena's wedding together. Uh, <clears throat> they split up in twenty nineteen. He is the heir to a vast communications empire. Okay, Elio Piss. So Piss was 24. She was 32. Uh, Younger they, guys. They, yes. A guy named Piss. He modeled for her clothing line. Uh, let's see here. Where does she live? Serena? Orlando? Scottsdale, I think. Could you see yourself like the, raising a family there, et cetera? Elio Piss. I think this is more your choice than hers. Riley Op- Opulka. He was a... They were, uh, he's another tennis player. She hasn't really dated around, but I'd argue that, uh, my photo next to those guys wouldn't look too out of place. No, the Cuban model doesn't look like a model. No, that's Elio Piss. Which one's Piss? Elio? Is he the one on the right or the left? Piss is on the left. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Venus Williams Piss. All right, uh, that's good enough. Uh, let's. That was a new unsold story. Thank you guys. Episode two, three ten.